Hello everyone. Um, what a journey these last couple years have been, right? I'm not saying it's been a good one. There's been a lot of confusion, isolation, tragedy, <laughs> contemplation, a lot of, um, just a lot. So I think a lot of people are waking up, but there are some people that are re resisting a big time. Um, and it's caused me to expand and grow. And it's really, I've been in a contemplation mode trying to figure out what to do. Um, um, you know, and I've kind of known for a while that I just don't resonate with everyone with the tarot. Um, I started this back in uh, late summer of 2020. So right after COVID st started. Um, and mostly, you know, just to put out messages for other people to find their purpose to heal to just get that guidance and within themselves and along the way I thought that it was healing for me as well because I don't know if I've ever told I think I have um, you know that I went through a, a spiritual awakening and kind of a dark night of the soul so I took up tarot and um, I wanted to do that with others and still continue to heal me instead of just leading, listening to readings because a lot of the readings out there are all about are they going to come back, they ghosted you, what's next, stuff like that and um, you know I just feel like that's not a good thing to be stuck on. I mean it gets you through that first breakup hump, it gets you through that first breakup hump um, but after that once you start that healing and you start realizing your worth it's like why would you want to go back to somebody that ghosted you, cheated on you, uh, left you high and dry, um, disrespected you? Honestly, if you go back, then you are disrespecting yourself and giving them that opportunity to keep treating you like that, right? So that's not for me, and I'm not going to do it. I don't care how many uh, subscribers you get. I mean, because that's most of the ones that do really well. It's always about relationships. But anyway... There's a few that don't, which are really good, that um, are just about the journey. But I just, I just apparently don't, they don't resonate with me. So, um, that being said, I'm doing a lot of contemplating about how much time I'm putting into these videos and this channel. It's like a second job, but I don't get paid for it. <laughs> how much money I've been putting into it. Um, so, I am really considering just... Um, slacking off a lot. I'm putting March videos out there now, but I'm contemplating I'm going on to something else. I am a registered nurse, so that's how I make my money. Kind of wanted to get out of that. Um, I want to do something spiritual or healing, um, so I'm looking for another avenue. I'm really thinking about taking a class to get certified on that. Anyway, with that being said, we're just going to get an energy update reading to see what comes up for everybody. Sorry, that's the cats. I'm feeling like in this between space time thing. <laughs> like I don't belong anywhere. We're going to see what happens. Oh, let's see. All tied up. Yeah, that makes sense. Fifth chakra, which is your throat chakra, all about your um, uh, speaking your truth. And second chakra, which is actually the uh, solar, so, uh, sacral chakra. Yeah, see? All that energy. That energy. Let's see what comes up. All right, so what's coming up right now with this energy that is happening with the collective, including myself? Oh, man holding a coin. Interesting. I really feel like this is kind of like um, your financial stability, your um, someone, maybe even a boss, like how you make your money. Huh, interesting. Man holding a coin. So this is like how you make your money, your job, your career, your boss, um, maybe you starting your own business, whatever that is. Happy family. We all want that. So this is a lot of material energy here. So this is like, okay, and thinking man. Interesting. Now we have the man holding the coin and the thinking man. So really contemplating about your family life and your career. The material world that's what i've been doing really thinking about that let's see what else is coming up yeah that's been on my mind a lot the temple path yeah see i really feel like there's like this split like how you survive here in the 3d world your material life your family all that and then this 
uh, purpose that we have in life, which way to go forward with that? Like, what are, what, what's the meaning of life, kind of? Not one that is stuck down in this and being kind of like trapped in it, you know, just for security and comfort. But, you know, trying to follow this path, like this can't be the only reason I'm here is to work, come home, work, come home, and just pay bills, right? Ah, that's kind of really, really hard. Let's get one more. There's got to be more to life than this. Six chakra. Wow, now we have the six chakra. Third eye. Yes, yeah, see, really, this temple path and this third eye. So I really feel like in our third eye, our higher self, we are realizing that there is more to life than just this. I mean, really, is that all there is? No. I'm going to get one more so we'll have it even. Let's see. Six cards. Yep, balance. There's got to be a balance here between your spirituality and your physical realm. So we're going to go ahead and pull a couple tarot cards. Okay. Okay, Knight of Wands, yeah. Going towards something that you are passionate about. That brings you back to life. But how do we get this spirit? Six of Pentacles. That balance again. That's that yin and yang. There's got to be a balance here. There's some kind of something energy off that's balanced. Now we have the King of Wands. Yeah, really taking control of this passion that's burning within inside you. You know, not getting trapped into this material world. BS. You know, just work, come home, work, come home, work, come home, pay bills, pay bills. All the money you're working so hard on and jobs you hate, and you're giving your money over to bills, right? And maybe not even having money for that, because everything's so damn high. Let's see what else. There's got to be more to life than this, right? Okay, three of wands. Yeah, see, working for that future. Planting the seeds. Looking out over the horizon, saying, you know, there's something better out there. You know? Got her bags packed. She's ready to go, right? All right, so we'll get two more, Tara. Mm-hmm. We need this transformation. Death of the old way of being trapped and just, like, working and paying bills. Going towards our purpose, transforming. I think that's why a lot of us are feeling this stuck energy or feeling like... I got to take action. I can't just sit here and put up with this anymore. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, gaining new skills, going towards what we're passionate about. Um, that's why I'm taking a, a, a courses, you know. I'm scraping. I'm going to scrape up any more extra money I have, and I'm going to take these courses. Yeah. Forget the cafe lattes and shit. I'm paying for a class that's going to make me do something else. All right, so... Or extra tarot decks. That's what I'm saying. I'm tired of wasting money on things that aren't going to benefit me anymore. All right, so let's see what else. Let's get a divine guidance card. These are those picture cards. And I don't know, a lot of you resonating out there with me with this. You know, it's like, it's time. I'm tired of sitting around and worried. I'm tired of sitting around contemplating. I'm tired of healing. I'm tired. I'm ready to take action, you know. I don't care how hard it is. It's time to make... Uh, this rest of this year, uh, even if it's a hard one and we got to work our asses off to get out of this situation. Okay, so we have this one. So take a look at that. That looks so interesting. That almost looks like a, a higher being, doesn't it? Let's see what this one is. This is number 42. I'm kind of interested to see what this one is. Mmm, light body guide. Yeah, see that? These are your guides coming in, guiding you towards the light, the higher vibration, your higher self. Lately, you may have noticed some strange things happening within you. Yep. Your light body is moving into a higher vibration, and this shift occurs. You might not feel like your normal self. This guide has come to let you know that being absent-minded, forgetful, unclear in your thinking, or feeling heart palpitations and other strange sensations is perfectly normal during this time. Light Body Guide encourages you to drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. The butterfly over his heart is a symbol for you to contemplate. He is here to reassure you that you'll be back to feeling normal very soon. Definitely been contemplating. 
me see his huh yeah that really resonates okay then we have number three which is this one let's see what this number three is about yeah let me know what you guys have been feeling this energy energy shift is like you know i gotta take action now all right so this three is infinite love this card represents the infinite love that not only resides within you, but is you. The entire universe is the vibration of love energy. Spirit sees your beautiful heart and is calling you to allow this loving energy to flow fully into you and from you. It will, it will heal your hurts and negative past experiences, helping you connect with the true immortal being of light that you are. It is your light and your love that the world needs most. It's time to let the love flow. Very nice. And last but not least, number 12. And that again kind of almost looks like a, a being. There's the mouth, there's the eyes, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me some feedback here. Are you guys, <laughs> I don't get much feedback. Let me know what you're thinking or how your energy's feeling. So I don't feel so alone. Not that I can mind, but I'm just saying, yeah, happiness. This is happiness. Believe it or not, that's happiness. Interesting. <laughs> a universal energy is moving through your life and your inner being right now. While this energy sets all matters of the physical world into proper order, it also serves to bring a deeper, more profound feeling of contentment and inner happiness. Be conscious of whether or not you are open to allowing this energy to flow. There's a lot of good coming your way, especially happiness. Also note that the golden ripples that emanate outwards outwards this shows that your energy shift will have a positive and uplifting effect on others as well, well i love that yeah because i do have i feel this shift it's just a very uncomfortable shift right now i know i need to take action but it's um no it's not going to be easy the action as well as uh I'm not quite sure where to go I might be taking a hospital job here next week for the money and the experience i'm not sure you know because i do have this other home job home health job with, with pediatrics. It's very interesting. And then I'm looking into taking the certification classes, which is about, I forget how many weeks, like six months maybe? I don't know, and money. <laughs> but uh, my living situation's kind of up in the air. It's just like a chaotic time, but you know, I'm determined, I'm getting through it. And I'm just gonna take it as a lesson. Lessons learned, experience, whatever it is. So drop me some comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling and what do you think this is, or if you're going through a similar thing. But anyway, that's our message. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.